The royal family has been the subject of controversial BBC documentary The Princes and the Press, presented by Amol Rajan. The first episode of the two-part program, which aired on Monday, examined the relationship between the media and Prince William and Harry. It looked at how the princes have tried to manage the press and the tension between the roles they were born into and their desire for a private life. The documentary also revisited Harry's unprecedented statement in which he accused the media of crossing a line with their coverage of his relationship with Meghan. He claimed in an extraordinary 2016 statement that there had been racial undertones to the press coverage and feared for Meghan's safety. In the documentary, Sky News royal correspondent Rhiannon Mills recalled her surprise when the statement was first released. Ms. Mills said, I was sitting at home, it was, a weekday morning, and all of a sudden this statement drops in my inbox. And for a family who we always hear that mantra never complain, never explain this was extraordinary. The Duke of Sussex, who at the time had only been dating Meghan for a few months, released the statement by a royal spokesperson. It was met with widespread surprise in the UK, due to its direct and outspoken language, a departure from the customary, terse royal communications. BBC royal correspondent Mr. Diamond said, It was a hot tongue of flame, that statement, and that is not the way that a press advisor would have phrased anything. But, Harry, felt he wants to do it. The statement was also unique in its direct and public reference to the private life of a member of the monarchy. The statement claimed, The past week has seen a line crossed. Meghan, has been subject to a wave of abuse and harassment. Some of it has been very public dash the smear on the front page of a national newspaper, the racial undertones of comment pieces, and the outright sexism and racism of social media trolls and web article comments. The palace statement also mentioned nightmarish nightly legal battles to keep defamatory statements out of newspapers, and Meghan's mother Doria Raglan having to struggle past photographers to get to her front door. It ended with a call for understanding of the Duke of Sussex's plight. It read, he has asked for this statement to be issued in the hopes that those in the press who have been driving this story can pause and reflect before any further damage is done. He knows that it is unusual to issue a statement like this, but hopes that fair-minded people will understand why he has felt it necessary to speak publicly. In 2020 the Sussexes quit the royal family, and a year later the couple were deeply critical of the British media in an infamous tell-all CBS interview with Oprah Winfrey. The rest of the firm had been in tension with the BBC since the release of The Princes and the Press, and in a rare move Buckingham Palace, Clarence House and Kensington Palace released a joint statement criticizing the show. The three royal houses said the documentary had made overblown and unfounded claims, and that it was disappointing to give credibility to such claims. The joint statement said, A free, responsible and open press is of vital importance to a healthy democracy. However, too often it is overblown and unfounded claims from unnamed sources that are presented as facts and it is disappointing when anyone, including the BBC, gives them credibility. The documentary had used first-hand testimony from royal correspondents and explored suggestions that negative stories about the royal family were based on information from people connected to other royal households. In response the BBC said the program was about how royal journalism is done and features a range of journalists in the newspaper industry, 